First at five, state lawmakers have gaveled out for the week, wrapping up their second major deadline of the legislative session. Our chief political reporter, Amanda Rooker, joins us in studio this evening. Several major bills died this week, Amanda, but state lawmakers still have a lot left to do in a short window of time. They do. Jody Lara, this is second funnel week. That means bills had to pass through one full chamber, either the House or Senate, and then through subcommittee and committee in the other chamber in order to advance past today's deadline. But many Many top House priorities died in the Senate, and some Senate bills died in the House. But Republican leaders in both chambers say they could still revive those top priorities and keep working on them, as well as the other major bills they're still trying to find common ground on. With four weeks left until session is scheduled to end, both chambers still have significant work left to do. Frankly, AAs have taken a lot of time. And so haven't even really had a lot of conversations about some of these other issues. Um, that's why four weeks will be hard, but don't don't count me out. Senate Majority Leader Jack Whitford says debate over how to reform the state's area education agencies or AEAs has dominated discussion over the last several weeks, leaving questions over what will happen to other education, health care and immigration bills. But several House plans in all three of those categories died in the Senate this week, including bills to address chronic absences at school overhauling diversity, equity, and inclusion programs at Iowa's public universities, and sweeping curriculum changes for history class. The leaders on our education committee have been here a long time. They've made a lot of changes. They've seen success with those changes and don't think we need as many bills to um, keep our state going in the right direction. But House Speaker Pat Grassley says lawmakers may bring back some of the bills that did not survive funnel week. There's been some issues that we've brought forward at the beginning of session that we passed over early enough that didn't see the light of day that we feel that they need to be continued as part of the ongoing conversations between the House and the Senate. State Democrats say Republicans are in disarray. This is probably one of the more bizarre funnel weeks I think I've been through. We have had subcommittees canceled. We've had committee meetings canceled. Yoakum and other state Democrats say they were surprised to see Republicans move more than 100 bills to the unfinished business calendar. That allows lawmakers to continue work on those plans, even if they didn't pass funnel week. They're not communicating and they're in disarray. They have different priorities. They're um, a little bit in chaos. And what we're seeing happen is that they have to throw a bunch of stuff on a calendar because they can't agree and they want to keep things alive. But Grassley says the unfinished business list is a normal part of the legislative process and says Republicans are unified. I think our track record has shown even if there's not agreement on every single piece of policy, we've been able to find resolution and be able to move our state forward. And we're pretty proud of our record that we've had as a trifecta. So we'll continue to move forward with the legislative session with that same mentality. And coming up on KCCI 8 News at 6, we'll go through what bills lived, what bills died, and what state lawmakers are turning their focus to now that second final week is over. Jody.